and welcome to the second of the series of videos about the UCAS website. So I'm going to talk about the UCAS hub side of the UCAS website. So this is a platform for students to research all the different potential options available. So on the home page here, we've got introducing the UCAS hub. It talks a little bit about all the great things on the hub that you can do. If you scroll down to the bottom, it will probably say for you register for your hub if you've not already done so. I'm already logged in, so I'm just going to go straight in and visit my hub. So when you log into your hub, there's lots of different activities and things available for you. And what's really useful is it has a to-do list. So on here, it will go through all of the different activities that you might want to start doing at this stage. Some of these you may have already done. You might already be quite clear on the particular course that you're interested in or particular universities you're interested in. But if not, there's lots of activities and links for further information on that list there. So what's really useful is when you're ready to start researching, if you see particular courses that you're interested in, you can then start to select those favourite ones. So let's uh, have a look at a course for business, for example. It will then uh, give you the opportunity to search for all the different business courses. And on that search function, oh, sorry, it's just signing me back in. On that search function there, you've also got additional filters at the top. So if you know that you want to stay quite close to home, uh, or if you know what your uh, kind of grades might be at the end or, or what your tariff points might be, you've got lots of options to potentially, uh, say, filter that down. Because at the moment for the business course, you've got 3,979 courses available. So there's a really good chance to then filter that down and to narrow that down a little bit. Once you've found a course that you might be interested in, you can then add that to your favorites, uh, any courses that you might be interested in doing. And then when you go back into the hub, it will then have your favourites saved down there as well. And it has like key bits of information in there as well. So again, any subjects that you're interested in, it will all be available there. And then if you've got any particular universities, you can keep going back to those at any point. So on that list of various things to do, you'll see that if you scroll down here, uh, you've got these kind of notes here. You can just write write anything of notes that you want to save as you're looking. Information about different open days. These are all the ones that are local to me, but of course you can search for any different university or any area and it will give you all of the different open days there. Um, so lots of information on the hub. So if you set up an account, absolutely free to do so. There's no commitment. You can go in and out of it at any point. It will keep saving your information. And so it's a really good place to start doing your research to see all the different courses available.